Antis is an American gun company uh, based close to uh, Pittsburgh in North America and we are by far the leader of engineering simulation. With engineering simulation we can reproduce any kind of uh, product and not only we can reproduce this product but we can animate them. We can predict the behavior of the, this product in operating con condition, in extreme uh, con condition, so that we know whether it will fail or, or not. If I'm taking the uh, example of a swimsuit, you cannot play with a uh, Michael self all, all the time because you need to train, but you can scan his body. You can create a virtual Michael self, and on top of it, you can create some virtual swimsuit. And the advantage of that is that you can change whatever swimsuit you, you, you want, make some small adjustment, and try it without having Mike himself uh, playing with, with, with you. So that uh, you can start a lot of uh, uh, tests like that, a lot of prototype. In the case of the, the Olympics, Speedo has done 1,200 different uh, swimsuits before coming to the, the right one. Uh, in, in fact, Speedo was making a lot of change recently because of the new regulation that has been issued by the, the FINA in uh, September 2010. Because at that time, the swimmer cannot uh, swim with swimsuits which are going up to the shoulder and down to, to the, the feet. So they were limited to the knee and limited to the bare shell. The most important aspect is that the material was different. They were not allowed to use some uh, polyurethane material anymore. They had to use tissue. And tissue was not as good in order to introduce some friction, some drag for the, the swimmer. The other part of it is that they realized that uh, in fact the swimmer is not just wearing swimsuit, but also the goggles and the, the, the cap. And this is very important because when you are diving and the goggles are going into the, the water, this is in, in training a lot of air bubbles. These air bubbles will create some turbulence and this turbulence will slow down the, the swimmer. So they were wondering how can we design the goggles in such a way that we will minimize this air travel. The other thing is that uh, we've got the cap. If you've got some long air that you're putting into the, the, the cap, the shape of the cap is becoming completely uh, chaotic which is not good, because this is once again slowing down the swimmer. Oh, by just a few persons, but this few persons can make the difference between the gold and the silver. By the redesigning the, the cap in such a way that you can organize the air properly, means that you remove the drag from the air, you remove the drag from the uh, air in trap and train uh, from the, the goggles, and you will improve the performance of the swimmer quite significantly.